Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to focus on transformation of reciprocal function using Desmos. Please remember that the parent equation of a reciprocal function that we're talking about here is y equals 1 over x. And the graphing form of this function is y equals 1 over x minus h plus k, where our h and k are the parameters while the x and y are the variables. So if we were to type this in here, that's y equals 1 over x minus h plus k. So that is the graphing form. Now if I add these two sliders that we have here, again these two sliders are the parameters. So if I add this, we should be able to see the graph of the reciprocal function. There you go. So this is the graph of the reciprocal function. So it has two branches. There's one branch on the left and there's another branch on the right. Now the thing here is that what does h and k as a parameter do to the graph? What does h do to the graph? What does k do to the graph? Now notice this very carefully. The value of h here is 1. Now if I increase the value of h, now try to see what's going on with the graph. So from 1, I'm going to increase it, increase the value. The graph moved to the right. Now if I reduce the value from 7, I will reduce the value and try to see where the graph is going. The graph moved to the left. So pretty much the h is the parameter that moves the graph either to the right or to the left. Now let's have the k. What does k do to the graph? So the k right here initially is 1. So if I were to um, increase the value of k from 1, let's see what happens. So the graph moves up. Now let's reduce the value of the k. So if I reduce the value of the k, the graph moves down. So pretty much this k moves the graph up or down. So that's the, that's the function of the k. It moves the graph up or down. Now notice that these two branches that we have here for a reciprocal function, what I'm talking about is these two here. These two branches are actually divided by an imaginary line called an asymptote. So the horizontal asymptote is this equation, y equals k. So as you can see here, there is this horizontal asymptote. Now I'm going to change this to a broken line to denote that that's an asymptote. So this broken line that we have here, this uh, branch that we have here, will approach or will will go towards the asymptote it will approach the asymptote but it will never touch the asymptote it will never touch the horizontal asymptote no matter how far we move this graph to this side here as you can see it does not touch the horizontal asymptote the same thing on the other side as well so if we trace this graph here, it will never touch the horizontal asymptote. So that's the definition of an asymptote. An asymptote is a line or a curve where a graph cannot touch it or cannot go through it. So that is the horizontal asymptote. Now we can also have, we also have, if there's a horizontal asymptote, we also have a vertical asymptote. And the vertical asymptote is x equals h. So as you can see, there is this vertical asymptote, which is just an equation, x is equal to h. So let's change this to um, broken line. So in this case right here, our um, graph will, will approach the asymptote, but will never touch it. On the other end right here, this graph, this um, reciprocal graph will get it gets closer and closer to the asymptote but will never touch it so the same thing for this side here it gets closer and closer to the asymptote but will never touch it the same thing for this branch here it gets closer and closer to the asymptote but will never touch it the same thing for this side here it gets closer and closer to the asymptote but will never touch it so pretty much the equation of the 
horizontal asymptote is y equals k and the equation for the vertical asymptote is x equals h. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!